God is about to restore what the enemy has stolen from you. Let me pray for you today. You will no longer work like an elephant and reap like an ant in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, your child has been doing everything they know to do and feel like they are not progressing in life. They have not been happy in a while. They feel stuck. Father, see to it that the obstacles that bring delay are removed in Jesus' name. Father, your child wants to be married. Your child needs a better job. Your child's health is constantly under attack. Father, in the name of Jesus, remove every satanic bondage that has hindered your child's progress in life. Heavenly Father, your child's finances are always under attack. Their money is not growing, but let their resources be increased. Let their destiny helpers locate them now in the name of Jesus. Father, remove every spirit of stagnation that is paralyzing their lives and make them feel helpless. Let the blood of Jesus cleanse your child from head to toe, body, soul, and spirit in Jesus' name. Lord, let movement begin today. Your people come before you seeking intervention against every form of delay and stagnation in their lives. Lord, your word says in Deuteronomy 1, 6 through 7, the Lord our God spoke to us at Horeb, saying, You have stayed long enough at this mountain. Turn and take your journey. Your people declare that they have stayed too long in this place of delay and stagnation. So by your power, they are moving forward into the destiny you have prepared for them. Father, your people break every chain of delay that has held them back, as your word says in Isaiah 40 and 31. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. They decree that their strength is renewed and they will soar above every obstacle in their path. Lord, your people ask for restoration in every area of their lives where the enemy has stolen, killed, or destroyed. Your word promises in Joel 2.25, so I will restore to you the years that the swarming locust has eaten. They claim complete restoration of time, opportunities, finances, health, relationships, and all that was lost in Jesus' name. Psalm 23, 3 says, He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. They thank you, Lord, for restoring their souls, their peace, and their joy. Lead them on the path of righteousness where your blessings will overtake them. Your people declare by faith that they are no longer delayed or stagnant in accordance with Philippians 1 and 6, he who has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. They believe every good work you have started in their lives will be completed in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for hearing this prayer. We trust in your unfailing love and believe that breakthrough is here. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. As you pray this prayer and stand on God's word, know that he is faithful to fulfill his promise. Continue to seek him in prayer. He hears your cry. He's working all things together for your good. Believe that the delays and stagnation that you have experienced are breaking off of your life. Restoration is coming. God is a God of restoration and he will restore to you all that has been lost in ways that exceed your expectations. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart and keep praying. He will lead you into a season of divine acceleration.
and abundant blessings. Be encouraged, keep the faith strong, because God is restoring everything that the enemy has tried to take. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Madra, and I pray these prayers and insights have blessed you. And as we go, remember this, I love you, but more importantly, God loves you with an everlasting love. He's sovereign, he's in control, he's fighting for you. Stay encouraged, stay in his word, and keep trusting his plan. Until next time, be blessed and walk in victory.